since we left off. It's going good. I had a good weekend. Played a whole lot more of this to get ready for today's stream. And also because I just want to keep playing this. I just can't stop playing this. Boy, I keep trying to use Groma as dodge tank and she's not there yet. She, uh... I kept trying to use her in mock battles and she's getting beat up, but I think she probably just needs more upgrades or something. But yeah, so, um, bring you up to speed. After some mock battles and a couple of missions, I had to do like two missions to get us up to the next divergence point. That was um, basically getting in and out of Glenbrook Castle. The, uh, it's the one in the courtyard where you have to get into the throne room uh, after Esfros invades, and then the one after you, uh, you go in there and basically do nothing because you're intending to save the royal family and you don't actually do that. You kind of just have to escape. And Maxwell joins you and Evlora's chasing you and Evlora beats up Maxwell and dumps him in the river, which was hilarious because he was already in my party and he actually shows up in that fight as a... He's like an ally unit, but not one you have direct control over. And... So the way that they handle that is they just have him grayed out in your party. Like he's just, he's the only unselectable unit in that mission. And in fact, the only unselectable, uh, the only unselectable unit in any mission I think I've ever seen. But it's like he's already out there for plot purposes, so you can't redeploy him for that mission and have him on the field twice. I, they thought about it and they were like, no, not this time. But it's, it's goofy anyway. Anyway, here's where we're at. Um, most of the party is at level 40. A good chunk of the party is at level 39. And then there's Medina. And this light is too bright and my face is all washed out. Uh, we have a couple of... Uh, I did some upgrades. So, um... Lionel is upgraded now. Uh, I think I went ahead and updated, upgraded Groma. Uh, Huet, I think, also. I guess I'm in the wrong screen to be telling you this. I basically bought all of the stuff I could at the trade post and the, uh, and at, uh, Lionel. So yeah, here's who we've got maxed out now. And here's who we do not have maxed out yet. We'll get them eventually. What's my conviction scores? Glad you asked. I don't remember Benedict ever being grayed out. There were a couple of missions where he wasn't in the party. Um... I did give Maxwell an, an accuracy boost, and he's been better. The spear throw is pretty useful. So anyway, um, I I unlocked this a while back, but haven't actually. Uh, I I figured I'd wait until you know we were live to actually get this cutscene. 
I don't remember which of the three this kid is, but we got him, so... At least one of my conviction scores is maxed out. The other two are extremely close. They'll probably happen in this stream, I would guess. I can hear it calling me. I must go. <sighs> there you are! Oh, how many times must we tell you? It's too dangerous to go off on your own. You have a precious gift that must be protected. That means they want to take advantage of I'm it. I'm sorry, but I cannot stay. Did you see something again? You once foresaw a terrible landslide near the village. Had we not evacuated, we all would have perished. Well, what do you see this time? Something I must do. So if you'll excuse me. Well, that says nothing at all. Well, wait! Don't go! Excuse me, my lord. Did you see the era of salt and blood? Has requested an audience with you. an odd child. A child. We tried turning him away, but he insists on meeting. You there? Stop. You are Saranoa, yes? I am called Kohawk. Pray, allow me to join your company. Not the name I expected, but okay. You look troubled. Is something the matter? Always. I can see the past and future. All that has been and all that will be. The other day I had a vision. Anna's just I here. The two of us fighting together. It was a vision of my destiny. Huh. You needn't entertain this boy's nonsense, sir. I will have him removed at once. Bro, you told him to stop and then stepped aside. Literally for a child. No, I would not see a child turned away. Let us hear more of his story. Excuse me, my lord. I could not help but overhear. I have heard of a child from a nearby village with the power to see the future. Would that happen to be you? It would. You must be Anna. I've had visions of you as well. How do you know my name? Because of the visions. visions. That is what I always called you. <laughs> Anna's like, okay, kid's it legit. It appear the rumors are true. Yep, yep. Kid's I legit. I'm certain my power can aid you in many ways. Please take me in. Kohog, I do not possess the power to see the future you have been privy to. But I believe this meeting was fate. If it is your wish, you shall have a place in my company. Excellent. I thank you. Okay. We'll go have a look at that. Prodigy capable of controlling time and space. Increase ally speed. Can return the battlefield to the way it was one turn ago. Okay. That sounds fine. That sounds, that sounds totally fine. There you are. Hello. Aren't you afraid of me? People in my village said I had a special gift, but they were really just afraid of me. Whenever I saw something bad, they'd get mad at me. Everyone here should probably feel the same. It's okay, I'm used to it. My vision told me that my place is here, so here I am. So... I think... I think this kid's power is King Crimson?
I think that's what it is. I think it's a stand. Unsurprisingly, you upgrade with a crystal. All right, weapon potency up five, at HP, defense, evasion, speed. You need a crystal and you need jade. I think we can probably go get both of those things. Crystal. I don't have enough kudos. That's never happened before. Oh well, let's handle this real quick. Time compression. This game has gone full Final Fantasy VIII. I guess I should look at his actual skills, yeah? Yeah, good old space-time scepter. That's fine. Okay, abilities, time compression. Raise the speed of an ally within range for three turns. And that range is six. Turn back time. Find a way. Revert a unit, units position HP and status changes to their states from the caster's previous the caster's previous turn. Okay, one unit. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Revert a unit's position, HP, and status changes to their states from the caster's previous turn. So that doesn't necessarily mean reverting the actions that everyone's taken. It just means that if they take damage and get poisoned or get hit by something, you can just undo that. What did I play recently that had a mechanic like that? Where you could just like undo someone's damage. That sounds familiar. Proportionate non-elemental. Proportionate means percentage-based, right? In this in this case. Bravely second, okay. I didn't play Bravely Second or Bravely Default 2, so I wouldn't have been able to say either way. But I mean those are both Team Asano games, so it's not a surprise to see it come back around here. That's true. It does not specify friendly units. Interesting. All right, proportional damage to the target enemy and adjacent enemies after the target completes one turn. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So it's timed. It's kind of like, uh, oh. Oh, he's kind of like what Lila was doing to me. He looks kind of like Lila. He looks kind of like Lila. All right, we'll table that for now. All right, move an ally to any location within five squares. If that ally is charging or casting, that action will be suspended. Cool, perfect, awesome. I have a quietus that does that, but this I might actually use. So good. And teleport. Stop everyone but yourself! He has the world!
<laughs> okay. Okay. So, wait. So he has the world and King Crimson? Because he can stop time for everyone but himself, but he can also rewind time to a set point in the past. That's literally the world and King Crimson. What the hell? He'd better be squishy as hell. He'd better die in one hit to balance this out. Switch the positions of yourself in a... Oh, this is... Okay, this is the same thing as warp space, only it's a swap instead of just a teleport. Bites the Dust didn't have anything to do with... I don't know. Look at me pretending I ever actually understood how King Crimson worked. I always looked at it as basically like, I can see the way things play out and then rewind and redo it the way I want to. Well, that'll be fun. Oh, I guess I should give him actual upgrades now. I don't have much to work with here, but we should be able to give him a couple. Uh, speed up. The more often you can do things, the better. Uh, evasion up, don't get hit. Physical defense up, don't die. I get the feeling I'm not really going to be relying on him for weapon damage. All, all in one character. So we could make haste better or longer, or just make him go more often. Which seems like the that seems like the play. There's a bunch new in here. I've done some upgrades, but I've just kind of been doing it as I've been doing mock battles. And there have been a lot of them, so I at this point, the character builds don't really matter because I'm just kind of filling out the whole bingo sheet at this point. So yeah, he's a... He's a support mage, but he's also like... He's also like a... a, a like a time mage. Like a... Like there's a... Oh god, what? There's a game where that's several games, I think, where there's actually something called, like, a time mage, or a time... Was it Final Fantasy V? Probably several. Anyway, that's what we got. Oh, right. Also, one more time into the encampment. There's one specific that I'm thinking of where time, like it's specifically called a time mage and I think it's five, but I'm sure it's showed up in many others. So yeah, we're literally at like, we're literally one answer away from getting the other two capstone characters. So like we're right, we're right there on the doorstep. 
I could probably hit the Liberty one just by buying some things. Okay. Now, if you all are for real serious, for real, for real, that you're sure we don't have to save Roland here and we can still get the good ending, we'll give up Roland so we can see the other path. That's why I stopped here. Also, here's everybody talking about what's going on after S. Frost takes over, but we've seen all this. Including Lord Falks, who will get overrun by, uh... Well, I don't know. Will she get overrun? I don't know. We'll see what happens to him. I doubt he's gonna join the party. Unless... I will give the signal when it is time to cast your vote. I ask each of you to weigh the matter carefully till then. Very well, my lord. To our own councils we go. Okay. Then we will not save Roland, which I... Okay, so, I want to talk about this for a second. First time through the game, I felt really bad not saving Roland. I was like, no, like, you know, all for one, one for all, right? Like, we're all in this together, nobody left behind, we're not gonna capitulate. Having been through a full run of the game, I now have other thoughts on the matter. This is chapter seven. This is the first of a series of instances in which Roland is like, I don't want this responsibility. Out with it. I don't want, I don't want to have to deal with this. What's the easiest way out of it? He kind of does that the whole game. And it makes me wonder, did anyone ask him if he wanted to be king? Did anyone actually like this whole time where we're trying to ins install him to the throne? Does he ever actually say he wants that? Because I feel like he may not want that. Everything about all of his actions seems to suggest that he'd rather not have to deal with any of this. I mean, yeah, it does sort of boil down to Roland is wildly insecure and causes problems for everyone constantly. And, like, he also grew up having no, like, having no real claim to the throne and no reason to believe he would ever he would ever be in line for it. So what did he do instead? He trained with Maxwell to be a good, you know, to be a good martial artist. And he's good at that. But now it gets to the point where everyone's like, hey, make realm altering decisions from the throne. And he's like, how about I don't? How about, how about I just do the thing that lets me keep fighting the people that I'm mad at and abdicate all the governing responsibility to someone else? So I feel really weird about installing him on the throne now. I felt weird about it in the first place because Cordelia was coming into her own as a ruler. And then we just swoop in and we're like, nope, you're out now. Get stabbed. Go, go on bed rest. We, we don't talk to you anymore. And that felt weird already. But now I feel even more weird knowing that 
this whole thing about reclaiming the throne is for something that Roland never wanted in the first place. And this feels like the first instance of Roland not wanting it. He's like, yeah, I don't, I don't care. Let me just sacrifice myself for the people. So... On one hand, like, his intentions are noble here. But on the other hand, I can't help but feel like it's rooted in a feeling of wanting to not be in a position where people are looking to him for guidance, decisions, responsibility. He doesn't want that. He doesn't want to be in that position and runs full speed in the other direction from it every time he can, starting right now. So today, we'll let him do that. Except I know the game's not going to take him out of the party, so we're just going to see how they force him back into the party. Let's make sure we know about the fire traps. Hi, Gamria. Okay, we've done this. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna answer two questions and probably get two more characters immediately. I've learned all I can about Wolfert's secret weapon. Um, S. Frost Betrayal will not stand. They will answer for their atrocities. Don't blame Frederica. We too wish to believe she had no hand in this. Surely they will not come to her for our domain where the Archduke's own sister now resides. P -p Precisely. You've nothing to fear. Everything's fine. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah, Salt Iron War was some was some shit. Uh, my father risked his life to bring honor to our house. I'll not be the one to tarnish his leg legacy. Well, we'll see about that. Yep, tis a legacy for passion and fighting for what's right that makes us proud to call this domain home. Legacies are slippery things and easily ruined. Tread carefully and choose wisely. And with that, we should have all the characters. any more items. There's no shinies here. So I'm going to assume we can just go talk everyone talk everyone to death. I don't for the life of me know how I missed something in the uh, in the tournament arc. Roland written as a contrast to Saranoa. Saranoa is assured and kept doing his role well. Roland is unsure. I mean, I wouldn't say, like, Saranoa has a really strong support system around him. Like, all of this right here? Like, he has a lot of very intelligent people to bounce his thoughts off of. And when he does come to a decision, he comes to it feeling like he is... He comes to it feeling like he is... He's seen it from every angle he possibly can and has to just sort of decide on one to go forward with. It also helps that it's a democratic system. So he's not always, like, solely responsible for making those choices. Roland, on the other hand, is someone who has... Roland is someone who has not really had to do a whole lot of decision-making and then suddenly thrust into all of the decision-making. 
Yeah, his support system was not particularly supportive. Like, his sister was okay, but up until she had to find her own inner strength, she didn't really do much for him other than be like, Now, now, don't fight, boys. Lord Saranoa. We surrender the prince or not? Will you choose House, House Wolford or the whole kingdom? Question of our priorities, what matters most to us? Surrendering Roland is the only way. Says person who previously found another way. What troubles you most? The time grows short, or that I may not be able to protect my people from the fires of war I see on the horizon. I mean, sure, we can say that, even though I literally abandoned them for an island. I don't know what this means, necessarily. Time grows short for what? I mean, this is at least a complete answer. There will be no safe haven for our people if Esfrost attacks. The duty as Lord compels you to protect the people. Thus, the only choice is to surrender Prince Roland. But... Is that a choice you can live with? Roland will castigate himself for any harm that befalls the people. Roland is my liege, and as such, I must respect his wishes. Sir Maxwell gave his life to protect the kingdom. Fighting would bring harm to the people and render his sacrifice in vain. Sir Maxwell gave his life to protect Roland. So this is kind of the opposite of the right answer. Um, let's just say we're respecting his Perhaps. wishes. Of course, I suppose I was rather bold. I did not consider your bond with the prince. Nor your feelings, for that matter. Forgive... Please, Anna, there is nothing to forgive. I appreciate your candor. I mean, I have overwhelming scores in every department, so... I'm not super concerned about Here's this. Here's what I think. We've been loyal to the crown for years, lad. You understand what they're asking for is treasonous, don't you? It's the king's own flesh and blood. We should protect him, not offering him up on a silver platter. But consider. Is this what you call justice now? Willingly giving up your prince, your closest friend, to that bastard's clutches? This is what we'll play with Eridor. I cannot bear to watch the good people of the Domain die. You're onto something. Damn right, as much as we're part of the royal family, first and foremost, we're the keepers of our own home. Don't you think for a minute I've gone forgetting that. All I know for certain is, Glenbrook will be but a memory if we give up Prince Roland. What do you think will become of House Wolfort then? How do you mean to repay the debt we owe our king? <laughs> what debt? The king is dead! Oh, shit! That's cold-blooded! Eridor will hate that. I will- he will hate that. Like, that's- you know what that is? You know what that line is? That's a villain. That's a villain. It's nothing to do with any debt. I make this decision as Lord of House Wolford and I take responsibility for its outcome. No, he asked a question. How do you mean to repay the debt we owe our king? Don't answer the question. Don't answer the question. Answer the question. Uh... Or he, I don't know, he, maybe he doesn't like it. You take that bitter pill for the people, you're a rare breed, I'll say that. It is to my great shame that I cannot do anything more. Do you fear the Duchy, Eridor? They may destroy the Domain as we know it. Consider this. 
Of course I do, but we have to face him down. There's nowhere to run. <laughs> wow! This is going! You can't say you believe we can defeat Evlora. Because he's gonna be like, of course we can! I'll take that bitch! Because that's who he is. He's a warrior. He's not gonna say he can't win. So these are all kind of bad. I... I cannot imagine in a debate how choosing silent ellipses is ever the right answer. If we, of course I do, we have to face him down. There's nowhere to run. Now is not the time if we hope to win. Hmm. So we bide our time for a bit, sit back and wait for a chance to strike. I'm sure Benedict would like the sound of that. If we really mean to defeat the duchy, that may be the only way. Appreciate the talk, lad. Helps to know where your head is leading you. And further. There's time yet. Go on, see what the others have to say. I don't think we picked the best answers for him necessarily, but my my utility score now is so high that it doesn't matter. I can convince anyone of anything at this point in the game. I our, king, our kingdom needs Prince Roland now more than ever. Never it, now more than ever. Turns out that's not true. He's to be protected above all others. Surrender Glenbrook's future king to our hated foe. Surely he'll not go along with this. All right, listen. Roland and I agree we must keep peace in the World Fort domain however we can. Cannot compel my people to march to their demise for one man, prince or not. Resisting the duchy now would spell, would spell the end of us all. We do not know for sure that they will kill him once he is theirs. But... What future does our kingdom have without its prince? None, I would venture. There's no hope in your words, only a moonless night from which Glenbrook shall never emerge. Then... I ask you again. Do you truly mean to surrender Prince Roland to our oppressors? The Lord of a High House is sworn to protect his people, no matter the cost, unless you can free slavery anyway. instead. I understand you have a duty to the people, my lord. Not... Yet I cannot help but feel this must seem an exceptionally cold and calculating decision to Prince Roland. I don't know what to do. There are no good options. Alas, I must make my peace with one of them. Yeah, she didn't like that. I... A peace built by forsaking our friends and countrymen in their time of greatest need and is no peace at all. I know what I ask is not easy, but I pray we find a bloodless path out of the conflict. Well, that's not gonna happen. You, yeah, I know, like, we were never going to do this if he didn't say he wanted to do it himself. I was like, how can you be so cold doing the thing that Roland suggested we do? That's so mean to him. Pains me to admit it, but I do. I fear this is a battle we cannot win, and so it is best avoided. Doing so would save countless lives. This is the only way to protect our... Protect our own. Save countless lives, she'll be like, yes, that's good. Protect our own is like, yeah, but what, who, what about who we're not protecting? I mean, sure. Is that so? Oh, she don't like it. Yeah, she didn't like it. This time I fear not even your words can see. I need a moment to think. Oh, she mad. Yeah, so I wanted to try that, but like, unless well, Caesar Maxwell sacrifice rendered meaningless. It's like, but he sacrificed himself to save Roland. Why are you using that as your ammunition? It is time to cast our votes. 
I should have done the one that's just... Do we surrender Prince Roland? Or do we protect him from those who would do I should have done the one that's like, we need to save lives. Approach the scales of conviction that would have worked for at the ready. I know, right, Nova? Frederica got them strong convictions. I am so sorry. I think that's the first time she's disagreed with me. Like, ever. I agree. Please forgive me. Oh, Huet's not in either. <laughs> you won me over. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Unfortunate, I don't get as many uh, conviction points for, uh... And that's the first time we've seen what the yellow flame looks like. Wait, what? Wait, Hewitt did vote with me? It seemed like she didn't. The way forward is decided. Surrendering Prince Roland is the only way we can survive. Literally not true. I'm just doing it for content. I mean, Nova, at this point, more conviction in anything is kind of pointless. We've gotten all the capstone characters. So be it. The decision is made. This is the path we walk. Was there truly no other way? Roland, say no more. Thank you for sheltering me, my friend. The choice you have made is wise and just. Go forward with your heads high. Bye! He'll be back. I don't like it. I don't like that one. Oh, no, but we haven't gotten them yet. But my scores are at a point where the next time we see the world map, they'll be available. Charge, Prince Roland at Gustadolf's behest, sparing themselves from the Duchy's wrath. House Tellior surrenders their land, also buying their reprieve. Lord Silvio bends the knee, declaring absolute devotion to their as frosty masters. House Falks surrenders nothing, the last of the high houses to remain loyal to their fallen king. News of their countrymen's capitulations shocks Lord Landroy, leaving him with a grave choice to make. Fade in flames, huh? Well, this is fine. Yes. I've brought the prince, your grace. Hmm. Gustadolf, you traitorous bastard. You'll pay for what you've done to my family. Mark my words. Gah! <laughs> Easy there, Aflora. We need him alive, after all. Why? I'm sworn to do all in my power to keep you from harm, your grace. The boy is overcome with emotion, and who could blame him? Perhaps this will quell his rage a bit. 
Cordelia! Brother! Let him go! <sighs> Indulge her, Aflora. Oh, brother! Thank the heavens you're safe! Huh? They didn't hurt you, did they? I'm fine. I... I thought I'd never see you again. Let us speak after. Surely the Archduke will afford us that small mercy. Yes. Later, then. Prince Roland, you are well aware of the position Glenbrook finds itself in, yes? <laughs> Your kingdom is ours. House Tellior and House Wolfort have both bent the knee. Among the three high houses, only House Folks still proves recalcitrant. This is interesting. This is completely different. You mean for me to convince Lord Landroy to submit? Oh, nothing so tedious as that. I want you to order his death. That's... I'm certain House hmm. Wolfort would be more than happy to oblige. You're mad! I won't be a mouthpiece to your cruelty! I know you've only just come into your responsibility, so allow me to offer a word of advice. A prince's first thought should ever be of his people. What are you saying? Landroy will not stand idly by for long. When he acts, and act he will, this land will once again be consumed by the fires of war. It is your duty as prince to quench that fire while it is yet kindling, lest you rule over a kingdom of corpses when all is done. <sighs> you see that I am right, your highness. Give the order. Yo, that's <laughs> brutal. That's super brutal. So yeah, some of these uh, some of these scenes are probably are probably new, but never mind that. What the fuck is that? Y'all, what what am I looking at? Welcome one and welcome all. Behold. I'm beholding. You'll find no finer selection of exotic wares in all the land. Sparkling jewels, beautiful silks, and the rarest curio of them all. This automaton. It sings, it dances, it does it all. That's your cue, decimal. Welcome one and welcome all. Welcome and welcome and what up out and welcome and Okay. Well, what's wrong with that thing? All right, nobody wants that. Stay away. You blasted sack of screws. I bought you to lure in customers, not scare them off. I am sorry. I did not mean to lose functional control again. Useless rusted heap of bolts. I've lost track of all the gold I've squandered on your repairs, and for what gain? But no more. I won't empty my coin purse trying to make riches out of rubbish. Hey, I happen to be here at this time. Ah, perfect timing. Yeah? You there. How would you like an automaton to call your very own? I don't, what the fuck is that? This time period shouldn't have those. What are you waiting for? Dance for them. Welcome one and welcome all. 
Welcome one, and welcome all. Incredible, isn't it? Bet you've never seen its like before. Indeed. I have it! It's a dancing barrel! it's all yours! So long, Decimal. Be good for your new master. Wait. <sighs> Fleet of foot, that one. What shall we do with it? <laughs> now what? Hmm. It wouldn't do to simply abandon it here. In the middle Perhaps of town. It can be of some use to us. You'll look after it, won't you, Anna? What? If that is your wish. Oh, she can't say no! That's so dirty! My name is Decimal. I hope I will serve you well, Master. Don't call me that. My name's Anna. Master Anna. Did, Master Anna. Yep, there it is. <sighs> okay. There's just a big ass number on the screen. What? Why? Does what only an automaton can. Immune to status ailments. Possesses abilities with wide range that trigger depending on the target's it What? Okay, no, that tells me nothing. That's correct. Give the robot to the assassin. Yeah, like, I was, he's like, you'll take care of it, won't you, Anna? And I was, I was expecting her to be like, what, me? No, hell no. And then I was like, Oh, that's an order. Oh, that's... Oh. Oh, she's not allowed to say no. Who in the... Okay. I'm listening. Is that... Is it? Still breathing, but I need to get her to a healer quick. St stone. What was that? My stone. You mean this thing? That's my precious stone. Okay. You have my thanks for saving me earlier. It looks like you made a full recovery. If you don't mind my asking, what were you doing there in the first place? Look at it, rocks! My apologies. I am Giovanna, a scholar from Esfrost. Is that the person who was listed in that book? I was a in geography at the archives there. It's always Quite been possibly. my dream to uncover the secrets of this land. Secrets? Secrets of what manner? All kinds. Our realm is full of them. Science, mostly. Have you never wondered why only Hyzant is blessed with a lake of salt? Or why snow only falls in Esfrost? Do you not muse upon where the rushing waters of the Norzelia River flow from and to? Come to think of it, we do not know, do we? There's an explanation for everything, and I want to... No. I must know it all. That's why I read everything I could get my hands on in the archives and keep searching for answers to this day. That still doesn't explain why you were out there. <laughs> right? Well, you see... Uh, uh-huh. Gustadolf decreed that all books on the land itself were classified information and ordered me to stop my research. So I left S. Frost in search of a place I could continue my pursuit of knowledge. But I'm not made for traveling, which is why you saw me in such an embarrassing state out there. I, I see. see. <laughs> in that case, you are welcome to stay here until you decide your next destination. Truly, thank you ever so much, my lord. 
if there's anything I can do in the meantime, please let me know. I'm certain my knowledge will be of some use to you. I fear a scholar like yourself wouldn't be much help in battle. Not so. Why, I know everything about Norzelia's terrain. Your knowledge may indeed serve to help us refine our strategies and gain advantages over our foes. Oh, and might I mention this? Geomancer! My word! That is quite a talent indeed. We got a Geomancer! See? I dare say I'd be useful in a fight after all. In that case, I ask you to assist Huet in scouting. Scouting? You mean I can ride on her hawk and see the land from above? Oh, it would be an honor, my lord. That sounds like a terrible we idea. We flying up there for the scenery. Scouting is serious work. My apologies. I was just so excited. I'll count on you to get her up to speed, Huet. I will be on my very best behavior. What a nerd. I like her. <sighs> Understood. <laughs> like Giorno's hair loops. I get it a little bit. Uh huh. Eccentric researcher. His abilities prove potent only under particular conditions. Usable abilities change depending on the terrain beneath her feet. The greater her TP, the greater her attack power. Okay, yeah. Giovanna Koppel. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that sounded familiar. I remember pointing it out and being like, they wouldn't have put that name in there specifically without it being important later. 